Okay, this is our thread rolling machine whose capacity is 80 mm. I'll give you a summary about this machine and how it works. As you can see, this is our thread rolling machine plate. The green switch is for the rolls. It's an on switch. The red switch shows off. Next to it's a hydraulic switch accompanied by a coolant. A timer is given to us manually plus auto as well. Yeah, this is a sliding bed. Operates by a hydraulic pedal as you can see here. For the coolant section, there is the box. There is the cooling cylinder. Okay, let's move to the other side. Okay, this is a manual switch for the slide adjustment. This is a limit switch of the slide. As it strokes back, this switch will not eliminate the machine from moving backwards. And this is a support. This is one of the job made on this machine just few minutes back. This is the place where you have to put your job. The roller will move and your job will be completed. Make sure when you assemble your rollers it should be tapered from this side. You can see it carefully. This rolling machine gives a capacity of 80 mm. Plus we have some more machines whose capacity varies from 80 to 120 as well. This is the logo. Again, this is a full machine. Okay, as far as thread rolls are concerned, these are our thread rolls. It can be changed according to the diameter of the job. It's very easy to dismantle it. Here you can see the main switch here. By an L key this whole thing can be pulled out plus you have to pull this screw plus this screw accordingly this whole thing should be kept out and we can easily change our roading thread but make sure that a very little space must left between the roller you can see that this is just to prevent the blockage of the main hole make sure that this space should be left this is for the adjustment of job a job bed it should be moved upward and downward here are its switches by loosening it it should come down tightening it it should go upwards fix it according to your job for the proper measurement helix angles are provided here plus here make sure when you load your profile it should come in a straight line from this point to this to your job to this to this point it should be straight 
If it should be down, you will not get a good finishing. If it should be up, for through feeding, so make sure these settings will apply a single line to get a good finishing and a good thread. For through feeding, these settings will apply. Okay, these are for the helix angles. For providing the proper helix angle according to the job, you can see there is a nut. By loosening this nut and the same nut at the back side of the machine, you can make this slide adjustable according to the job. Plus you will provide two nuts here. One you can see this. The second one is there. By loosening or by tightening the two nuts, the whole slide will be adjustable according to your job. Okay, now here you can see the oil tank of the machine. It measures approximately around 200 liters. I know it's quite big in size. But as far as safety measures are concerned, we make it big because the oil will not get heated inside the tank. So the machine and the worker will be working in a safe environment without letting to any kind of accident. For the lubrication, these two buckets are provided. The same buckets will be provided at the backs of the machine as well, just for the lubrication process. This is a slide for providing the taper to the job. For providing the taper, these are the four nuts. The four nuts here as well. By loosening these eight nuts plus these holes, by their movement, the taper will be provided accordingly and the main taper setting will be guided by these two nuts. Okay, for the pitch adjustment of the rolls, these two cavities are provided. By using the handles, you can adjust the pitch of the roll. Make helix angle adjusted to zero on both sides.